Right guys, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we look at Debo Samuel, number 19 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2022. Debo Samuel is a wide receiver for the 49ers, although I'm led to believe, from what I can recall, especially from my uh, fantasy football days, he runs the ball just as well. So I'm going to leave all of that to when we look at his stats. For now, let's begin the video. I mean... Some of the stuff he did, no one has ever done before. Every chance I get to watch him, even if I'm playing against I'm going to be like, ooh, I can't let my teammates see it. <laughs> I like to talk about Debo Samuel. Uh, well, we haven't seen Juice for uh, for a while. But if Juice plays fullback and Debo's running behind him, I'm going to I'm gonna say that's, 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 a, that's a nice wee bond. Could be quite similar to the, the Spirit Bros. Uh, the, the the bond between Kyle and George Kittle. Not on the list last year. Debo, uh. Mr. Do It All. Man, this guy's a big part of the problems. Big problems. <laughs> <laughs> big problems. <laughs> okay, that's considered a rush, right? Oh, he is quick. Playing running back, playing receiver. He's rapid. Get him, Ramsey. We're going to put Debo at halfback. Just seeing him out there at kick return, too. I didn't even know he could do all that. Debo Samuel's proven there isn't much he can't do with a football in his hands. Debo oh, no. Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> he can pass as well. Debo throw wide open. And he can pass touchdown passes. Debo different. Debo different. <laughs> what? Who's that? That's Jalen Waddle, isn't it? Debo different. Debo different. He different. different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His 768 yards after the catch were second only to Cooper Cup's 768 after the catch. Well, what did he get prior? Let's have a look at his stats. Nick Minnett. Tyshawn Raekwon Debo Samuel. Born January 15th, 1996. So he's a, he's a, well, he's a young buck. Probably in the league for four years or so. But we will confirm that. Six foot even. 215 pounds. So he's probably tall for a running back, but short for a receiver. That might explain something. South Carolina from 14 to 18 got picked up in the 2019 NFL draft with pick number 36 early in round number two to the 49ers. He's been there ever since. Made his first first team all pro selection last year, first Pro Bowl selection last year, and has holds the NFL record for the most rushing touchdowns in a season by a wide receiver. With eight. And I'm assuming that happened last year. Okay. Eight rushing touchdowns. How many receiving touchdowns did he get? Oh, look at this. They've done him dirty. Five foot 11 and a quarter. One, eight, one. Although he's six foot even um, in his uh, NFL.com stats. You know what I'm going to do for you, mate? Do you know what I'm going to do? I don't do this often, but I will. I'll do it now. We're going to edit the code. And we're going to go... Should I make him six foot 11? No. We'll go six foot... Six foot nothing. Let's head down here. Publish changes. And we're good. There you go. Just like that. Extra couple of centimeters. Six foot even. 214 pounds. 448 for the 40 yard dash. And we saw all of that plus more there. Um, he moves like Jagger, to be fair. But he only he, he's around the seven, seven second mark with the three cone drill. 39 inches on the vertical jump. That is ridiculous. 10 foot 2 on the broad jump. 15 reps on the bench. So he's a definite athlete. What was his deal? He signed a four-year contract with the 49ers on July 25th, 2019. And during the 2022 offseason, three years later, it was reported that Samuel requested to be traded. However, he reported to training camp and ultimately got convinced on July 31st, 2022, signed a three-year $73.5 million contract extension with $58.1 million guaranteed. 73.5 over three years. What's that? Quick maths. Well, it's going to be a decimal place, isn't it? But I'd say about 28. 28 million a year. <sighs> Not bad at all. Let's look at his stats. He's been in the league for three years, guys. Three years. Had some time out of the game during 2020, which we will find out why... Placed on the non-football injury list at the start of training camp. 
activated on September 5th, but was placed on injured reserve again on September 12th. He was activated once more on October 3rd. He was placed again on the, the list uh, on, on November 4th and activated two days later. In week 12 against the, the Rams, he had 11 receptions for a 133 receiving yards and a 23-20 victory. He's finished the 2020 season with 33 receptions for 391 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. So underperformed, but did what he could with the games he played. But, comes back in the 2021 season, 16 games played, 1,405 receiving yards, 365 rushing yards, which is a, a, a bit less than what I'd expected. But, it is a career high, and that brings his total all scrimmage yards to to, um, to 1,770. He led the league in uh, average yards per reception with 18.2, six receiving touchdowns, eight rushing touchdowns. So he scored eight rushing touchdowns off 365 yards. Jeez, I wonder how that worked. I'm sure we'll find out. Either way, he threw the ball twice, completed one of them for 24 yards and a touchdown, fumbled the ball four times, but being that he did carry it over, you know, 140-odd times, um, I suppose that's not too bad. San Francisco, they went deep in the postseason. Three games played, 10 receptions, 154 yards, one touchdown. Tw- 27, re- 27 attempts at, along the ground, 137 rushing yards, and an average of 5.1 and one touchdown. So, okay, do you know what happened? Do you know what I think happened? I think I just started paying attention to what Debo Samuel was doing in the postseason. And that's why I saw him rushing the ball so much, and that's why we were talking about him you know, being this this dual threat. But at the end of the day, I mean, it seems as if he, he played running back predominantly during the postseason, at least. Anyway, 4 for 8 for the 40-yard dash, 39 inches on the vertical jump. Need we say more? 846. But he did it on nearly half the number of receptions. Sorry, what was that? His 768 yards after the catch were second only to Cooper Cup's 846. Shit. But he did it on nearly half the number of receptions. He can catch a slant and take it 70. And he could also run an outside zone from the backfield and take it 70. So that's, that's a rushing attempt. Am I right? What's he going to do here? Is he going to split? He's, he, he's going to split the defense. He's going to absolutely burn them. Straight to the house. Oh, he's got the stiff arm. His willpower. Oh, wow. he does get there. He's fast. People just he's can't physical. tackle him. Oh, shit! Okay, I know who came off second best in that uh, collision. Physical. Oh, oh mouth shit. guard pops up. They are thumping down there. He's rolling like Oh, you gotta feel bad for him, man. You no, know, got an attitude like Steve Smith. No one never go down. He kind of gives me the same vibe as AJ Brown. Big lower body kind of yards after the catch kind of guy. You know, just like AJ Brown, if you let those guys get going. Good luck trying to tackle him. The willpower of Debo Samuel is nice footwork too. Believable. Bro, nobody will tackle you, bro. I mean, I think Debo's got a case for um, you know being one of the best offensive players in the league. He's truly one of the best yards after contact players. Debo was named a first team Look at him All go. Pro for the Look first time. Look at him go. <laughs> Someone did the old uh, the old Superman. Debo was named 97. A- oh. Look, there's such a thing as arm tackles, then there's such a thing as hand tackles, and they just don't fly. First team all pro for the first time. And now, Look makes that. his top 100 oh, debut at a fitting number. Get in. What Get there. Play. Get there. Oh. oh! I'd call that a touchdown. There's not many guys who have that level of versatility, and you have to account for in so many different ways. He's got it! Cut by Debo Samuel! Oh, he's a... Pr- he's- I'm not going to say he's a cheat code just yet. He's only in his third season. But if he goes out there and and performs and accumulates the type of um, yardage that he has this year again, not only is he going to be in the top 20 again, but he's going to really get that respect. He's the best player on the field. From me, at least. He's just an explosive player. <laughs> not that that means Look anything, but, you know. Go! Look at him go. Kind of put the team on his back like a backpack. Marched us to victory. Damn, those are some those are some big words from from Big Trent Williams. Debo, he does it all. He does. His greatness is undeniable. That's for sure. 
I told you. Let's go. Thanks for telling me. Well, here he is. The big man, Darius Leonard, who I'm led to believe is called Shaquille. Why? Well, only time will tell. Someone told me that in one of my live streams. By the way, if you do want to tune in, um, I'll be hosting various live streams throughout the season on this channel, but also on my second channel, Jake. And you can find the link to that in the homepage on this page. So, no time to waste. Darius Leonard is coming up next. Debo Samuel is pretty much up there with the best, let's be fair. Uh, 19 on the list, and he deserves he deserves it. He's come back from you know a, a relatively underwhelming season last year. Come back strong, and that's what we like to see. All the best, mate. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.